How's it going, YouTube family? It's Joe Sam checking in with you guys. I know y'all are used to seeing me out and about telling the stories of the community as a journalist here in Houston, Texas, but I just started a new position as a community outreach coordinator for Houston Community College. And I want to take you through a day in the life of a community outreach coordinator. I know the title says that, but we're going to actually take you through a week in the life of a community outreach coordinator because there's so much to get done from writing press releases to getting out in the community, doing community engagement, from setting up community events yourself and also getting out the story, still telling the stories of community. So there's a lot of social media incorporation, there's a lot of interviewing that happens, there's a lot of picture taking. So you're still doing a lot of media incorporation within this job and you have to know what you're doing. So we're right now starting on the campus of Houston Community College here in downtown Houston, quarterly to midtown Houston. We're on 1300 Holman Street, and there's gonna be a lot that's gonna be happening here and outside of the college as well. So I'm gonna show you a couple of events, a couple of things that I do inside of my office, and what I do pre to prepare to get ready to go out there and handle these events. So stick along with me. It's a long video, but there's a lot that you're gonna learn as a community outreach coordinator, especially if you're just starting this position as a community outreach coordinator. So let me take you along and show you what it's all about. Okay, now that I'm finally in my office, there's a lot that you have to do as far as planning is concerned before you even get out there and do any type of community outreach. So I'm going to show you guys what I do inside of the office before the work outside begins. It's a lot going on. Giving you guys a look at my office, I have it pretty organized for the most part. I need everything in here to be able to function well, including a little inspiration from my TV days and some inspiration from my education here up here, you see my board. This is where I organize everything from speaking engagements to meetings that are in person, social media activity that I have to do, which should be longer than that. I have some more stuff I need to add on there. Some in office activities that I need to take care of, which is what I just finished explaining when it comes to planning and getting things organized. The virtual meetings that I have to attend as well. And then the community outreach events that I have. All the red check marks that you see up here is what has been completed. The things that are not, are things that needs to get completed. So let's now head over to the computers. So I have three computers that I work off on, my personal computer to keep tabs with everything that's going on personally with what I have going on, and then my computers for my work. This is just one computer and it heads up into this huge desktop. So I do a lot of social media promotion, which is what I'm taking care of now. If you guys can see here, up here on social media is our social media page. All I have to do is just click on here and then it'll show you the promotions that I just did, which is here, our transfer fair that I was just at, taking pictures, making a post, giving people information about what's gonna be happening. Later tonight, we have our national night out, which is what I'm gonna show you guys how to get prepared for that. And I'm gonna be packing for a national night out, which is gonna be happening from five to nine. So it's a really long day that I'm gonna be doing. This is gonna be my flyer for next week. So I have my Central Cuts for the Homeless event that's gonna be happening here on campus. We're doing it in support of World Homeless Day. And I have to make a couple of calls to get that event finished and finalized. So like I said, a lot going on, a lot happening, and we're gonna make sure it gets done. Another part of the in-office work is creating press releases. So I work on creating press releases so I can send out to the media so that they do know about the events and everything that we're doing here on campus, any events that we're hosting so that they may wanna come out and participate in. I use the system called Canva to create my flyers, to create my press releases. This is a really great, great system, great platform to utilize and creating anything and it saves all your work too. So here's another previous flyer that I created for our town hall and free luncheon that we're doing for the community. Easy, professional, and very, very user friendly. So I would definitely suggest if you are getting into community outreach, and uh, this would be one of the sites that you use. We also use Constant Contacts, which is another thing that's really, really great. And of course, our Outlook calendar where I can put and organize all of my events, all of my meetings, anything that I have going on, I make sure that they're organized and planned out through here because there's going to be a lot you're going to be doing as a community outreach coordinator, even things that are on the weekends. So this calendar really helps out with organizing and sending out reminders to you so you stay on top and you stay abreast of everything. So here we have constant contact. So this is what I was telling you guys about 
for this system we utilize a lot of. This helps us create our campaigns, our newsletters, which I'm gonna show you in just a bit, but I do wanna click on this tab at the top, Contacts, and once I click on Contacts, it helps us keep organized with everybody that we meet out in the community. We get their phone numbers, we get their emails, and it lets us know how many people are in each list. So if I do wanna send out an email blast, all I have to do is click on whichever group I wanna send it out to. So community contacts here, there's 52 people in this group, and then I'll send out that email communication and it goes out in a full blast. So I'm not doing it one by one. This is a really, really user-friendly, easy way to get things done in a short amount of time. Here's the newsletters that we work on. We also create FYIs and any kind of reminders, any type of reminders that we have coming up about what we're doing here at Central Campus. So this is the most recent newsletter that I created. And it looks like this once you get it sent out. So once it e it's emailed out, this is how it looks together. So beautiful newsletter. This is me grabbing all of my pictures. You do have to go to each one of these events. So another part of the job is being a journalist and writing all of these stories. So I wrote all of these little stories to get people ahead of what's going on. We have pictures that's connected to it that you will also have to go and get yourself. And I even shot videos. So this is one of the videos that you'll see here in just a moment that I did for World Homeless Day, which is what we talked about. Now that that event is over, we have the National Night Out, which you guys are also going to be seeing. So this is what you do after the fact. So we're giving you a little preview of what happens after you go to all of these events. You put on all of these events, take your pictures, get your information, and then you come back and put it into a nice newsletter. I do a semi-annual newsletter, so I give myself a lot of time to create all of the info that we need and all of these stories and chances to get all the flyers about our upcoming events in here and things that we have going on for the next couple of months. I even include the holiday break schedule because I won't be sending out another newsletter until February. So this is giving them all the information they need throughout the rest of the semester and even some important information about student loan debt relief, getting those applications completed by December 31st. So this is a lot of great information for people to get in a nice compact newsletter. And of course, you always have to make sure you sign your title down there and let them know that you created this. So beautiful newsletter that was done and was sent out to all of our contacts using the system Constant Contacts. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna walk you over to our promotional closet, which is where we keep all of our giveaways, everything that we're doing for our events as far as the tent and our table, our table skirtings. Let me show you how that looks. Just want to give you a quick tour. This is the president suites that I'm in right now. This is the office where you would come into first before you walk into my office, which is right over here. There we go. So you see the name on the door, the title, and then this is where you come for me. Over here is where you're going to be seeing our promotional items and everything that we take out to you. I have my cart here. This is where I'm gonna be packing up some things. I already have a couple of items already in there. We have some flyers that we're gonna be giving out to everyone. And these are our giveaway bags. We have our logo on here as well. There's a lot of cool things that we have in our promotional closet, which is what I'm gonna be organizing in a few too. Okay, so I know I showed y'all the room earlier, but I wanna show it to y'all again. This is after I finish cleaning and organizing. I didn't want you guys to see a dirty room, but this is all the promotional items that I take out when I go out on any type of community outreach events. This is the room that I get it from, and we typically get a lot of inventory in, so we have a lot of boxes all filled up like you saw earlier, but I had to take the initiative to clean it up for you guys a little bit. So I have my drawers now with everything filled in here with our notebooks. I organized all of that. We have water bottles over here, and I'm gonna label all of these as well, but we have our water bottles over here. We have mugs that are in this cabinet here. So these are a lot of different promotional items that I'm gonna be taking out with me to different events. We have all of our step and repeats up here, our chip clips, we have sewing kits, we have water, of course, from we have volunteers that come and help us out, tote bags, wood pens, our little eagle toys here. So this is in this box. I took one out so I can know exactly what's in here. Some clappers, some bags to give out as well, chest kits, and these are scarves up here. But then we have a lot of other things in these drawers as well. So I organized everything out for you guys to see how the room looks when it's clean. So there we go. This is our promotional room.
All right, quick switch up. So we are now outside of the HCC police headquarters. They are hosting National Night Out. So this is the calm before the storm, before all the community members come out to National Night Out. As you can see, I already have the table skirt on. We're about to put some promotional items on the table, get that set up and be ready to go for when the event kicks off. So we'll be excited to see everybody when they come out here. Another part of being out in the community for your community outreach portion of this job. Looking forward to happen. All right. Where is it landing? Where is it landing? You tell me where it lands on. All right, so that is the end of the day. It is around eight o'clock. I'm extremely tired. I have another long, busy day tomorrow of community outreach that we're doing here in the community. My next event is my HCC Central Haircuts for the Homeless in support of World Homeless Day. So I have to get that together and it's gonna be another great event. Okay, good morning to all of you. It's day two of community outreach. And today is an event that I'm doing myself. So this is one that I coordinated myself. It is Haircuts for the Homeless for World Homeless Day. So we're doing it in partnership with the Covenant House Houston. 20 young males are gonna be coming here to get their haircuts done by the barbering department. And they're gonna have food for lunch. They're gonna have snack packs for breakfast. It's gonna be a really great event. So we want to make sure we get that out there. And I'm gonna show you all what I have to do in order to make that happen. So let's get to it. And they are really excited to come here and get their haircuts because many times they don't get an opportunity like this to come and see a college campus, see the programs that they offer here. From the snipping of scissors to the buzzing of clippers, a service was provided from HCC Central Barbering and Cosmetology Department to young men and women with the Covenant House Texas in support of World Homeless Day. I've always been a big hearted person. So just being able to help others in, in any way, shape or form that I can has always been, made me feel good on the inside. DJ Williams is a freshman at HCC studying barbering and knows all too well about providing to the community, being that he was once a receiver of assistance and service. He says barbering is now his passion, allowing him to help people feel better on the inside and look better on the outside. I feel like with barbering, you know, a lot of times you can make someone's whole day with just a simple haircut. Covenant House Texas is a nonprofit that's been helping provide shelter to homeless youth ages 18 to 24 since 1983, and we're thrilled about the opportunity to send over a dozen of their residents to HCC Central to receive a free haircut and meal. A community service department chair, Shanice Britton, says is important to this program. Um, I tell the students all the time, it's all about giving back. It's all about giving back to the community. We have a couple of students that knows how that feels not to have somewhere to go and been in, been in foster care systems and things like that. So to be able to have the Covenant House come in and, and get their hair cut, and when they left out, they're saying, hey, look at my hair. That was just an awesome experience. Central's communications department, along with Lord of the Streets and Bethel Heavenly Hands, were successful after partnering up with the barbering department to make this event special for Covenant House residents, transforming their hair into clean and crisp works of art. A lot of these students came in with no experience, and because we have such great professors here that have the skill set to come in and start from ground zero with these students, it gives them an opportunity to feel good about themselves because not only do they get a skill set to be able to understand what they're doing for the community or understand what they're doing as far as to become an entrepreneur. It also gives them the skill set to say, hey, I can do this. I am more than what someone said that I am. So to be able to hear them talk and say, hey, I'm in a college setting. I can take barbering in college. Then after that, I can get a degree. It makes them feel good. I hear them talk amongst students. They want to do opportunities like this again. And I love to come in, watch them. I, I like to know them on one-on-one -on -one basis. I like to call them by name, let them see my face, and it gives us a more personal relationship. So therefore, if there's ever an instance where they need us, we're right here on campus to provide for them. If you would like to learn more about the department and the great work they do, visit them at hccs.edu slash cosmetology to start your journey.
All right, you guys, it's another day in the life of a community outreach coordinator. Today, we are attending a learning and development conference and convention for the NCMPR, which is all about public relations and marketing. It's gonna be happening at the Magnolia Hotel, which is right here downtown Houston. So we're going to go in there and learn a couple of things about making our position a little bit better and making it easier for ourselves to get a bigger impact as far as community outreach is concerned. I'll see you guys in a few. Well, I want to thank you all for coming here. Houston's a very special place for me. I grew up here. I um, was born in Hawaii, did some time in New Jersey, and my family moved here when I was a little kid. Uh, and Thank you guys so much for sticking in with me for a week in the life as a community outreach coordinator. Hopefully you learned a lot that will be helping you within your new position as a community outreach coordinator and answering all of the questions about what the job pertains and what it takes to actually get it all done. We walk you through every single thing that happens as a community outreach coordinator and there's so much more to get done that you can do just thinking creatively and doing things on your own. So I have another speaking engagement to get to, another veterans resource resource fair which is out there in the community engaging again once again another event so there's a lot left that I have to go and get done so I'm gonna leave you here and please send any questions that you have in the comments below and make sure that you like and subscribe to this channel for more instructional videos about the day in the life and what goes on in Joe Sam's world <laughs>